You want me to stay? Oh boy, somebody get me a tissue. Right, you can't stay. This building is being demolished. I have waited long enough. CJ, you backed out of our deal the first time to give Sally a chance. Sally failed. Put Spectra out of its misery. Sign the papers. Sally and Spectra didn't fail. You sabotaged them, Bill. Sabotaged them. This is like you know, typical forester. You try to ride it on your white horse, but it's not a white horse. It's a donkey. You're too late. There's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Sally. You know, I don't get you people. I mean, I'm getting you out from under this useless pile of rubble, and I'm putting an end to the company that stole your collection. They wouldn't have stolen my collection if you hadn't trashed the preview. Jarrett didn't even write that review. You did. It doesn't matter, though, okay? Look, Bill is right. It's too late, Thomas. I can't pay the rent. Spectre is busted. I have no future here. Sally, it's not too late. And you do have a future. It is just getting started. Part of me wishes you never told me what your father did. Yeah, well, I'm your husband. Honesty's in the job description. Don't expect me to say thank you. You did the right thing. We'll see. Listen, my dad wrote that article to destroy Spectra. He was trying to stack the deck. Thomas deserves to know what happened. Is uh, Ridge around? Oh, you have another sketch? Yes, and he wants to show it to your dad or Thomas. Leave it with me. They're not here right now. My dad's in a meeting, and Thomas is over at Spectra trying to save Sally and the business from the bulldozer. Jared, come in. Yes, you wanted to see me, sir. Sir. <laughs> I like that. You're not that formal with my brother now, are you, Jared? Because I heard you guys have been a little chummy lately. Um, we're cordial, yes, sir. Cordial enough to share corporate secrets? No. But we do speak frankly. I'd like to do that too, Jarrett. Of course. So tell me, why did you tell Liam that my dad wrote the review of Spectre's preview? Because he did. Darlita, you need to keep packing. Bill Spencer could come out of that office any second and toss us all out on the street. No, Thomas won't let that happen. Thomas wants us out of business as much as Bill does. You don't know that. You think he came here for Sally? I mean, maybe he's gonna carry her out of here like in a movie. Darlita, honey, the only thing getting carried out of here are all these boxes. Saul, honey, please go tape them up and get to work. Mm -hmm. We are closing our doors. Well, don't you want to know what's going on in there? I would love to know what's going on there. If I thought it had something good for us. I thought my father made it very clear to you that no one was supposed to know about that review. Liam is a Spencer. He asked me a direct question. Well, did you say something to make him suspicious, Jarrett? Liam came to me because he sensed something was going on. He was determined to get to the bottom of it, and I couldn't lie anymore. What can Thomas do for Spectra? My brother wants to help. Only because there might have been extenuating circumstances. Like what? Sally confessed. They stole our entire collection. Oh. It's Sally. Thomas still has feelings for her. Sally has until the end of the day to keep Spectra running, right, CJ? If she can make a payment. But she can't, so no point waiting for the clock to run out. How Sign the papers. How much is it? More than she's got. The number, CJ. $100,000. See, look, there's no way. It's pointless. Mr. Spencer gets the building. Inspector is finished. Thomas. What are you doing? Making an investment. Spectra fashions. Uh, 
Okay, somebody say something. Nothing left to say. It's, it's just, it's so sad. This place used to be so loud and, and busy and, and full of energy, and, and now... And now, it's time to turn out the lights. Liam is no fan of the Spectras. I didn't see any harm in telling him about your father's role in their demise. Well, he told Steffi. She has even more reason to dislike the Spectras. Who then told Thomas. Oh. Yeah. Jarrett, that was, that was a very sensitive piece of information. My dad's gonna put his foot so far up here. Your... <sighs> Personally, I'm relieved. I'm sorry? I'm a journalist and a man of integrity. I was never comfortable with what Bill did. I realize I could lose my job over this. <laughs> yeah. But the truth about Sally had to come out. So Bill wrote a review. So what? One good review is not gonna save Spectrum now. Yeah, they can't sell the collection they stole from us. And nothing can justify what they did. Bill's part in this doesn't get them off the hook. But it does change how my brother sees it. He's gonna think that Spectre was sabotaged. I mean, they were sabotaged. My dad wrote the article in order to bring them down. And he's gonna tell them that. Thomas doesn't want Sally to feel like a failure. He wants her to know that she has talent. I just thought she was out of his life and he was ready to move on. But all of this information could change everything. And it makes me really concerned about our business and my brother. Thomas, you don't have to do this. It's signed. It's legit. It's a hundred thousand dollars. It's what you need. This month. What about next month? And the month after that, and the month after that, and the month after CJ? We have a deal. Do not back out. Sally has a lease, and this check keeps them in this building. Doing what? They don't have a collection. They are out of business, Thomas. And even if you get this clown shop up and running again, nobody's gonna buy their rags. I'm giving Garrison here a chance to get out from under this dead weight once and for all. Hey! Yeah, Sally and CJ, they're family. This place is a lot more than just real estate to them. This is their history, it's their legacy. Sally came back here to rebuild that. And with her talent, she could have given this whole brand an entirely new face. CJ, your mother wanted that. I believe Sally can do it. She stole from you. Because she thought she couldn't make it because of you. She screwed over you and your family and you're gonna bail her out. Spectra was right on track up until Bill derailed them. Give her another shot. Sorry, Mr. Spencer. Spectra Fashions is still in business. Where's Mr. Big Bucks going? What happened? Thanks to Thomas, Spectra Fashions is still alive. What? <gasps> so what? unpack these boxes. We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. Oh! 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 The Spectrus can't be trusted. We gave them the benefit of the doubt, and they burned us. That won't happen again. Sende, I, I promise you no one's excusing what they did, but you can't, I mean, you can't ignore what my dad did either. Think how differently things would have turned out if Spencer Publications actually gave Sally a fair review. She's trying to make her mark as a legit designer. A legit designer wouldn't have used me to get publicity. I, I know. Or send Coco undercover to steal our collection. Yeah, we had to sue them. We couldn't let them get away with it. But Liam is right. Bill did have a part in this. We had to let it come out. Well, it doesn't change the outcome. No. 
Spectra is going to be out of business by the end of the day, and Bill Spencer is going to have his precious skyscraper built. What's wrong with people? I mean, don't they appreciate great architecture anymore? I don't think the building's what they had the problem with that. Kid's sap, just like his father, running in to save a damsel in distress. Only she's no damsel, she's a ripoff artist who stole his collection along with whatever little bit of backbone he had in the first place. You should have heard him going on about how talented she is, how my review was sabotage. I knew I couldn't trust Jared to keep his mouth shut. He only told Liam, apparently. Oh, well, is that all? Mr. Eagle Scout, well, you know, know how that's gonna turn out. No, I just, I don't get it. So CJ bailed on the deal because he found out you wrote that review? No, that deal was done until Thomas pulled out his checkbook. You're kidding me. Wrote the check, 100 large. Spectre lives to fight another day. <laughs> Thomas paid the debt. Call it an investment. You wanna know what I call it? I call it. Okay, you were about to offer him like 200 times that. We should have taken it because I'll never be that generous again. Well, we all know you're not giving up, right? On Spencer Tower? <laughs> this magnificent, sexy beauty. Are you kidding me? Okay, Dad, I got it. Never. Thomas didn't save Spectra today. He only delayed the inevitable. Spectra will be a pile of rubble. And when it is, I will take great satisfaction. <laughs> Time to celebrate! Oh, we yeah. Drink champagne! We absolutely do. Thank you. <laughs> CJ said we are back in business! Wait, did you convince him to give us more time? Thomas wrote him a check. Thomas paid our debt. Wait, but that was for... Really? A hundred thousand dollars. Why would you do a foolish thing like that? Oh, I know why. I am not afraid of a little competition. Let's just make it a fair fight next time, yeah? Yeah. You're just a wonderful, nice human being. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> well, you guys got a raw deal. Um, There's no way I was going to let Bill Spencer take your business down after what he did. Wait, what did he do? He wrote that review to sabotage us. Bill Spencer? Yeah. Jared actually liked your guys' preview. He wrote a decent review and he turned it into Bill and Bill would not publish it. He wanted this building. What so he trashed your guys' line. What a jerk. Yeah. yeah. He is gonna have to find somewhere else to build his ugly little skyscraper. Well, thank you, Thomas. Yeah, man. I know how much this company means to all of you guys and how much <laughs> all of you mean to Sally. I take back every rotten, stinking thing I said about you, Thomas Forrester. Everything. It's a miracle. <laughs> Party! Come on, come on. Oh, 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 yeah. Take it. Yeah. Take it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're nuts. <laughs> They're mine. Mm -hmm. Look what you did. I let them down. I took Spectra to the edge of destruction, and you brought them back. I know I keep saying this, but I, I really can't thank you enough. You told Thomas the truth. You can't control what he does with it. I know exactly what he's gonna do with it. He's gonna tell Sally and she's gonna use it to excuse everything. I'm not the bad person Bill is. And <sighs> Thomas is gonna believe it because that's exactly what he wants to hear. That's his choice. I just thought they were over. I thought the relationship was done. Yeah, well, you did the right thing. And more importantly, you love your brother too much to keep this from him. So there's that. Thank you. Ugh, why does my brother have to be such a superhero? <laughs> so annoying. Well, you know, he's not the only do-gooder in the family. I'm really proud of you, you know that? I mean, I know it wasn't an easy decision. I know you wanted to protect your brother and the family. And uh, staying silent probably would have been the way to go, but... What my dad did was vindictive and selfish, and you know that Sally and Thomas had a right to know that. Yeah. yeah.
Oh, 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 honey, Mama needs a refill. You sure? Uh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, you know what? We should have known that that article was bogus. Sally's mm. designs weren't that bad. I told her that. I did. Yeah, so did Thomas, remember? <laughs> Honestly, I still can't believe what he did for us. Like, he didn't have to tell us what Mr. Spencer did. He could have let Sally believe all the horrible things in that review and, and, and let her go to jail, but... But he spoke up. The way RJ stuck up for me. That's integrity. And I just hope everyone here has learned that lesson, too. Here's to Thomas Forrester and everything he's done for our girl. Cheers. <laughs> sure. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> uh, do you think this means he and Sally are going to get back together? We're still celebrating. Do you need help unpacking anything? No, I think you've done enough, Bucko. We can take it from here. Oh, no, no. I wasn't talking about me. I was going to hire somebody. You know, I thought it was over. That Spectre was finished and I'd ruined everything. You didn't. Yeah, thanks to you. You're not gonna believe this, but it wasn't just me. Steffi is the one who told me about the article. Queen Steffi? Yeah. She knew I would tell you, but she still thought I should know. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah, me And too. very grateful. It's weird, that review, it, it never made sense to me. I mean, I saw your promise as a designer, and, and well, now I'm banking on it. I don't know, my confidence took a hit whenever that article came out. The things that it said that my designs were vulgar, an abomination, and a joke. None of that was true. Bill Spencer never saw any of your work. That entire article was a lie, okay? Jarrett Maxwell believed in you as a designer, and so do I. I want to believe that that I can still design, that I can realize my dream and why I came to LA. And why you're gonna stay. I never wanted to leave. I hated giving up. And now I have this chance to create something that's beautiful and honest and genuine. And it's all because of you. Because you believed in me. What you did for me today was either the most foolish thing I've ever witnessed or the most kind and generous romantic thing anyone has ever done for me. Romantic? So you, you think that I did all this because I still have feelings for you? <laughs>